Hey everybody, how you doing? Got a green light going ahead with yet another. Ah, shh, shh. Try a completely different side this time. I don't usually kick the ball on that side. Let's see what we can do. Make you people uneasy. It's what I do. <laughs> Seems fairly calm in here right now. It's nice. Music ain't real loud. Let's see what the guy for Hot Wheels. Yeah. Drags, but we'll see. Variation on the Lundy Taxi. M. Oh, it's P. And in this case, P stands for picked over. <laughs> God, gosh. I guess nobody wants those little trucks, huh? It's that recolor. Not bad. I guess I like the Mardi Gras look of the other one better. Thank you for rolling the noisy cart through, so soon. Yeah. Ain't gonna be crap in here. Earth Day. It's a little late. I have a box going to Mazar pretty soon. I should send him a pink fire engine. Okay. Still saddled with those things. You know what the problem is with most glow-in-the-dark stuff now? Is that uh, you can't actually charge it up on a lot of light bulbs. <laughs> they don't contain the, the wavelengths of light that it takes to stimulate the, the things. <sighs> Give me a sec. Checking for your Elvira there, dude. If I can find an Elvira there for you, man, I will send it out. The lower price, huh? Come on, I can't pass that up. It's gigantic. For seven fifty, I'm in. Seven bucks. Since 
some, some this gigantic Godzilla. Treat your people better. Treat your target better, people. That's what I meant to say. That's my grandson, Kit. Grandson, Kit. <laughs> sort of in a holding pet, waiting for that page punchers. So, but I do. Wow, that's that looks fun. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to go over to the collector section there. I know where we're at. Who's hiding these? Who's hiding them? And what fool, man? Machines, Torino, Johnny Lightning garbage. All right, let's hit the collector section for a sec. Let's see what's up. Looking for Andres Elvira. Hey Andre, could I just send you the nun and we could glue some boobs on her? Would that work? Nosferatu. things. taking place of all of these 2004 versions. Huge difference, right? Anyway. Okay. They totally moved the DVDs and shit now, and I can't, I can never find Suicide Watch anymore, or Suicide Squad. So, can't do that anymore. It was a good joke while it lasted, though. All right. feel well now. We're under the buzzy light. That means Ross. Let's go. I don't know why I'm doing this at this time of day. It's a bad idea. The line's gonna be huge. But I need footage. So, we're here. So this is an old dude just walked by me, looked at me dead in the face and started laughing. Like it was obvious, he was amused by me. Does that happen to you guys? Do you look at me and get amused?
bugs. Okay, let's see what else we can find here. Oh, wow. Not quite enough savings, honestly. <laughs> you know? Saga and I were in here a couple days ago. I saw this one and there was another one. And I'm kind of really looking for the other one. Maybe somebody can hung it back up here. No, nope, not on the end cap. <laughs> I saw a bunch of these being vended at the uh flea market yesterday which the video should be up now so you can go watch that we went to the Polk County Flea like we always do and um, found a few things made a few deals I actually have got something really exciting coming up and there's the one I'm looking for of course it's gonna be seven bucks If you can hear the helicopters in the background, you know we're at the disappointment down the hill. Otherwise known as the airport target. Let's still do this. Well, I don't have a lot of time to talk about it in between, but um, that's a pretty cool mod rod. I'm not gonna pick it up, but lots of gold Batmobiles. And hey, the machine. So let's see what they got. Sorry, I'll have to blank out all the audio probably because they got the music up really loud today. But we'll see if there's anything left of PKs to be had. Probably not. Lots and lots of Range Rovers. Land Rovers, I mean. It's amazing they're giving me a moment to talk here, so I will. But if I have to cut the audio, can do that I'm a pro um, lots of pink fire engines for Nazar but I really don't think we're gonna find much here outside of like gold Batmobiles off the ass it's funny I was um, I was not worried I was gonna find one but when they started popping up all over the place you know the usual kicks in like am I gonna find one am I gonna find one huh? found 90 of them so as Nazar likes to point out on his channel to the folks who are new to this um, be patient don't buy things off of eBay it only uh, perpetuates a crowd of people that we don't want involved in diecast in the first place oops so um, you know, or, or look out for people like myself, 
you know, every once in a while, sometimes we'll do trades, do something like that, but outside of it, hey, Rusty, there's your pencil case. Uh, lots of stars and stripes still, too. Good Lord. Hmm. Lots. Another fire engine for Nazar. There you go, bud. Oh, oh that's a Hot Wheel monster truck. Where's the monster germ stuff? And of course, there's just nothing else. Nothing. 66 Ford GT. Oh, they know where to hit me, don't they? That's cute. Alright, is that a muscle machine? Five dollars now. Cute. Not necessary in my life. Uh, yeah, here comes the music again, so. Be losing the audio any old time now, but that's how it goes. Oh wow, cool. That's really nice. These uh, these Spin Master figures are really well made. They're really well articulated, and they don't cost a ton, so I dig them a lot. Uh, let's see these things too. I gotta tell you, this is this is a really great con figure. Um, if I had to have Star Trek stuff, that would be a good pick. Because again, it doesn't cost a lot of money, but uh, it's really nice. It's well done. Okay, some more Fortnite figures. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Ah, uh, man. Yeah, I like the facial expression on that one. That was fun. The luchador. The shark henchman. Looks like a luchador to me. All right. Uh, not much happening. Oh, I see. Somebody pulled the thing off of it. Quit wrecking things at your Walmart's peeps. All right, audio getting lost because I'm getting tired of talking over this program and uh, Thomas Dolby will definitely get me sued. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm only gonna say this once. Okay. Let's stop teaching our kids how to cut up things. Didn't we not learn anything from Jeffrey Dahmer? Well, I guess we know where everything got dumped. Man. I can't stand these fucking things. Excuse me, language, but here's a good way to get a collector to walk away from a whole bunch of Hot Wheels. Like, dude, I don't care. 
don't care. like I am less and less inclined to chase die cast. I feel like there has been a premium put on mainline Hot Wheels which has caused a uh, caused a, a deficit in the same way that action figures took a hit somewhere around 2018, 2019. Things began disappearing and drying up because there was a secondary market for this stuff. And so I guess what I'm going to talk about here is supporting the secondary market. We as fans and collectors of Diecast need to uh, exercise some self-restraint. If you don't go to these secondary sources and buy from people who are flipping, and I'm not talking about going to the, um, the flea market and finding a car from 1994 and some guy wants three bucks for it, okay? That happened to me this weekend and I don't feel like for a pink Cadillac Matchbox uh, that it was asking too much. The car was in fantastic condition, etc. What I'm talking about are these people who are taking things and putting them up for sale on their online shops with sometimes 1,000% markup. I've seen it, and it's not pretty. And this is what was happening in the superhero uh, action figure market and in the NECA figures. Um, people found out that there was this huge collector's market going on. Suddenly they woke up to the fact that we, we like what we like and they began preying upon us. And people stopped buying action figures from those sources. And that's why now that and the price increase, but that's why now you see that people have sort of moved on from flipping action figures because they found out that you can take a dollar car and charge $10 for it, $20 for it, sometimes a hundred, two hundred, two hundred and fifty dollars for a super treasure hunt. And I'm not even talking about super treasure hunts that have been around a really long time and are drying up and hard to find or anything. There were people asking an exorbitant amount of money for the 510, which I found. And when I offered to sell it to somebody for less than $100, you should have seen the flood of emails I got. And I, I, there were so many people looking for it, so many people wanted it, and I couldn't make a decision as to who I should sell it to. And I, I finally came to the point of like, I'm not gonna sell it. I spent a dollar on it. It was a neat find. It's a great memory for me and my wife. And so, to hell with it. I'm gonna keep the damn thing. And 
because it's worth more than that to me. You know, just in a memory, we had a, we had an amazing afternoon. Um, I don't know, people. If you support this market, there will continue to be people who go out and swoop. There will still always be somebody out there at 8 a.m. when the store opens. Nazar has shown you that. Every channel out there that hunts diecast has shown you that. And some of the people who hunt diecast are the folks who are out there doing it early in the morning. All respect, okay? I There's no shame in that game. But this going out and finding like barely three cards from a P case, all of them like fantasy cards, how do cases get that picked over that quickly? The answer is the secondary market. So let's knock it off. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go to another Wally. Why not? Before we go home. Okay? I'm out here trying. I am. But I'm not going to get out there early in the morning. And recently I heard at our Wally, I heard a guy saying that uh, they've gotten hip to it, at, at least at my Walmart. They've gotten hip to the guys who show up every morning at 8 o'clock when the store opens. And they've started to put cases out at different times of day. I appreciate that. Thank you. Anyway, let's see what we got. seen in your life. I call it my Sex Panther shirt. I got it in clearance at Walmart, which is where we are now. Let's see what they got. Nope. Buckus. Oh, I thought that was an eyebrow or something. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the actual... Nope. nope. Damn thing. 